Joe Rogan gives his thoughts on Jake Paul defeating Anderson Silva. We should point something out. Some people are trying to say that that fight was fixed because of the knockdown. If you please, if you find that, there's a video where people are questioning. I just want to explain to people, this is what happened. He, Anderson moved forward to Jake Paul and Jake Paul hit him with a sort of a stepping jab and caught him right on the chin. So I get that people don't like Jake Paul, but I don't think this fight was rigged. But I also don't think beating a semi-retired 47 year old Anderson Silva is all that impressive. And when he caught him on the chin, Anderson Silva was falling backwards and then he leans away from the right hand and he goes down. He tripped. And it looks like that. No, no, no. He oh. was down from the punch, but it looks like the right hand doesn't connect and doesn't connect. But the left hand is what f him up. That left, that dude hits hard you know i've never actually seen joe rogan speak negatively about jake paul or logan paul he's always been pretty supportive of them and i wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing one of them or both of them go on his podcast and for anybody to say he doesn't hit hard because he's a youtube star if he, this guy was not a youtube star and he was some exactly. dude who went out there and flatlined tyron woodley with one punch and just knocked down anderson silva in the, the eighth round Right? Draw it right there. Watch that, dude. So I do mostly agree with Joe Rogan here, but I do have to provide some pushback. If Jake was actually fighting professional fighters who are his size and his weight, these fights would be playing out a lot differently. Jake definitely would not be looking as good as he looks versus these retired MMA fighters. Look, it I'm, says I'm just he's saying. made $40 million from his three fights in 2021. Damn. Well, there you go. He's made $40 Damn. million dollars fighting. I mean, he's probably making as much, if not more, than any other boxer alive other than make, maybe, say, Tyson Fury. And then he just adds like, on his or Instagram. Or maybe Canelo, Canelo Alvarez. So Jake Paul can box. I mean, there's no denying that. But people aren't going to respect him until he fights a real boxer. So those were Joe Rogan's thoughts. Let me know what you thought of the fight in the comment section down below. Honestly, at the end of the day, I was just happy to see Anderson Silva probably get the biggest payday in his career. Anyways, guys, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and watch this video next.